Test, test, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, we're gonna get 30 seconds room tone starting now. What's up guys, my name is Mark, and in this video I'm going to show you how 30 seconds of silence can have the biggest impact on your videos. And that's not clickbait, by the way. I'm talking about recording the essence of your room, otherwise known as room tone. What's room tone? Ah, uh, we gotta start again. Now I realize it's not the most exciting of topics, but it's such an important part of the filmmaking process, I feel it's worthy of a dedicated video. Room tone is a film and video production term that simply refers to the audio recording of silence in a room where there will be dialogue spoken. So for example, take this setup right here. I'm in my office recording this video, and if you listen carefully between my words, you can hear a subtle low volume sound. That's room tone, and that's the dedicated sound you wanna capture when recording room tone. Think of it as recording the essence of the room. And fun fact, if you're recording outside, it's called air tone, or as I like to call it, the essence of air. Okay, that's 90 seconds. Yeah. Yes! One of the most important aspects of filmmaking is achieving the illusion of absolute continuity. Now, oftentimes when you record video and start editing it, you'll find the best way to tell the story is to modify the pacing at which you're delivering your lines. Now this is one place where room tone comes into play. It's used beneath the dialogue track to help fill those holes left from your pacing pass. And that helps bolster the audible illusion of absolute continuity. It can also be used to place underneath voiceover tracks you record later to help provide a consistency of sound. Room tone is also one of those things you don't realize you hear until it's gone. Now let's say I didn't record any room tone in this setup and I place a gap between two clips. Now it's easier to hear if you have headphones, but you will hear it. Notice that subtle hiss becomes absolute silence. It's distracting and will pull your audience out of the story you've worked so hard to build. Of course, there are tricks to hide this, like if you're using music in your mix, but because capturing room tone is so simple, there really is no excuse not to do it right. Do it right. That said, there are a few basic rules to cover when recording room tone. It's important to record room tone with the same microphone as you're using to record your dialogue. You'll also want to keep your microphone position and the levels the exact same as well. Change nothing. This can get a bit more complicated the more microphones you have, but let's just keep it focused on a single mic for now. If you have crew in position on set as well, you want to try to keep everybody in the same general positions they were in during recording. Moving people around on set can change the acoustic of a room, and that will impact your room tone recording. Record room tone in every room dialogue is spoken. Because every room has a different acoustic, and because you're looking for that consistency of audio to keep people invested in the story, it's essential to record room tone in every room dialogue is spoken. Now, listen how these different rooms have a unique essence, or sound of silence. <laughs> Try to capture at least 30 seconds of room tone per setup. This will give you a good chunk to pick and choose from when cleaning up your dialogue scenes. And if you're outside recording air tone, 
try to capture 90 seconds minimum, up to three full minutes if you can. Outdoor noises are far less controlled than studio, so this will give you the best options for post-production. 90 seconds. F -U -A. <laughs> Now, room tone really is one of those things that can have the biggest impact on your videos. It can also get pretty complicated depending on the complexity of your production. Now, whether you're working on a single setup YouTube video or a professional film production, room tone is an essential piece of that puzzle. So the next time you're set up to record a video, give yourself 30 seconds of record time in silence. It's not only therapeutic, but will also elevate your videos to new heights, even if you're the only one who immediately notices. Now, I personally like to record my room tone at the beginning of my videos, just so that I don't forget. And yes, I have forgotten a few times. All right, guys, well, that's it for this video. I hope you found it informative. Of course, I'm down in the comments. If anyone has any additional questions or comments, leave them down there. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Two things, now that we're done the main part of the video. One, I have no idea how I'm gonna make this visually interesting. That's gonna be a bit of a challenge, but something that I'm gonna to have to figure out. Number two, Honestly, room tone, like not many of you guys know, but I work as a film and TV editor. So one of the first things I do whenever I'm cutting something is I isolate the room tone for any scene that I'm cutting. So scene number one, find the room tone, cut the dialogue scene, and I'm using it all the time. It is so, so, so crazy important. And room tone and ambient sounds are two different things. Room tone is more of a technical plug to kind of like give the illusion of continuity and, and ambient sounds actually add to the story. They're a story motivated element. So, all right, I guess that's it.